so there are two issues in double locking solution of singleton pattern so previously we have covered this video latest all creational design pattern and in that uh, we have seen the singleton pattern also right so here it is so in the singleton pattern i have covered uh, eager lazy synchronized and double locking okay but this singleton pattern is not completed over here and i will tell you most of the candidate and engineers get stuck after this only because that's where the things get pretty messy so there are certain memory issues with the double locking uh, solution i will tell you what are those issues and how to fix it that is very very important from the interview perspective and that's why singleton pattern is little bit tough okay but the issue is very simple to understand solution is very very simple okay let's understand this what is double locking system first like uh, i'll i'll not cover in depth if you wanted uh, what is the solution what is the singleton pattern double locking system please check out the previous video but here i will just give you a, a highlight like what we have done uh, so that we will understand the issue okay so one thing is in the double locking system we put two checks so this is our check 1 and this is our check 2 and this is guarded by the synchronize so let's say two threads comes in thread 1 and thread 2 at the same time so currently connection object is null yes so both will come here so let's say thread 1 got the lock and goes inside and thread 2 is waiting here so thread 1 connection object is null yes so thread 1 goes here and created the object so now object is created now when thread 1 releases the lock thread 2 comes here now thread 2 will see hey connection object is equals to equals to null no it is already created so it will return it will not create another object okay so this is where the double lock is the name comes in right so two times check we are doing okay so you can uh, learn more about double locking solution in depth in the previous video so now with that understanding that we know what is double locking and this solution now let's see what is the issue so issue one reordering of instruction so just concentrate on this line where we are creating an object so connection object equals to new db connection and let's say certain value so just to explain the issue i have just added one uh, member variable right let's say we are while creating an object singleton object we are also initializing this member variable right nothing difference so now you know that uh, this we are creating a new object so internally this comprise of many instructions let's say first allocate memory second step would be like initialize all member variables if they are present initialize all member variables so that's why i have kept one member variable so if there is any member variable initialize those third is assign reference of memory to object so this is the object to con object let's say so this is all happening when we do new db connection there could be a multiple other stuffs happening but this is the very uh, high level i just highlighted that when we are trying to create a new object so what all it does it create a memory it initialize all the member variable and then it will whatever the memory reference uh, is address memory address it will provide a reference of it this to the object okay now you should know one thing that cpu does reordering of the instruction to increase the performance so now let's say this is our double locking solution which we have written same as before now with this i am just expanding this instance method so just expanding this instance method how it will look like with this three more steps let's say so the get instance 
connection object is null synchronize same if connection object equals to null same so now db connection part i have just added this thing three thing first allocate memory let's say just say that there are certain method which allocates the memory second is it initialize the member variable so here we are initializing the member variable with the value 10 so it will initialize the variable and then whatever the pointer comes to the memory it will assign the to the connection object okay so i'm just expanding that what it might be doing inside this and you know that cpu does reordering of the instruction so it is possible that cpu reorder this instruction let's say that cpu reorder this one it reorder this okay so now here if you see that after allocation of the memory the connection object reference is now assigned to the pointer like whatever the memory pointer is it is assigned to the connection object and then member variable is getting initialized so if you see that there is no change in the logic but only the instructions are reordered so earlier memory member variable was initialized before and connection object was later but it has been reordered but you know that this will cause an issue how let's say in the multi-threaded environment okay let's say what is happening is thread one is here so this is let's say thread one so thread one memory is allocated so yes memory is allocated this is memory for thread one so currently thread one is working memory is allocated so this is done now at the second step because of reordering before we initializes the variable we have assigned the reference to the connection object so there is something called connection object so its reference has been assigned now okay now before we done the initialization of this variable so this is uh, it has a variable uh, what the name we have given uh, i think member variable right so let's say it has one variable called member variable currently it would be initialized with some default values right some default values by default is always a default value and uh, it has to initialize with what value 10 right so initialization should happen here but before initializing because of this reordering the connection object reference has been provided of the memory but initialization is not yet happened now before this initialization or happened let's say thread 2 comes in let's say thread 2 comes in and check hey connection object is equals to equals to null no it will see the day no it is not null connection object has already reference to the memory so thread 2 will not go inside it it will just return it and it will let's say use it and when it will use it what value it will use the default one not the one which has been tried to assign so you got what is the reordering issue comes in right so just look at this with this example it might clarify you just uh, see it one more time okay so this is one issue this is what known as reordering issue in the double locking issue 2 l1 caching so now what is the issue so here with the same example now let's understand first so you, you know that we have let's say different core in cpu different we have cpu different cores each core has its own cache each core has its own cache and then we have a memory and the cache access to memory so now you know that uh, generally the cpu core stores the do the they, they do the computation and they don't just write into the memory they keep the data into the cache and based upon its logic and maybe after a certain time they will update sync up with the memory right and these cache do sync up with each other also 
right so they replicate like whatever the data they have they do uh, sync up with each other right so all the computation happen in the core and they keep the data into the cache for some time which is known as l1 cache right and after some time they will dump the data into the memory okay so now just understand that what issue can come with this here with this memory model so this is not generally our memory model right now understand this right thread one so i have a thread one which has created the object let's say it has successfully created the object so thread thread one has created the object uh, so thread one has been processed here into this uh, this let's say here and object is created and object is currently sitting into this cache okay now currently it is not put into the memory just see that it is not put into the memory it is present into this object is present into l1 cache it is not written into the memory right this connection object this connection object reference to the memory currently it is not updated to the memory that yes it is now pointing to a memory this changes currently in l1 cache now let's say thread 2 is coming now let's say thread 2 is coming another request coming in if it says that and it is going into this one let's say and different core now in different core it will say that hey connection object equals to equals to null so now it will see that now let's say this sync up has not yet done this sync up is not yet done it is currently not they both are not sync up to each other for now now it will say that hey connection object does do you know about in the l1 cache hey do you know about the connection object latest data okay it doesn't have knowledge about it so it will check the memory right so in memory currently connection object is not has been assigned anything right even though it thread one has create assigned a new reference to the memory but that is present into this core cache and it is not synced up with the memory yet and when thread 2 comes into the different core and this uh, if l1 cache has not sync up to each other then it will check its cache hey do you have something about connection object it say no then it will check its memory in memory connection object is still null because this is a uh, connection object is not yet updated in the memory by the thread one yes okay it is still present here so thread two what it will do is hey is connection object equals to equals to null so it will check its cache it will check its cache it is not there then it will go to the memory and it will say yes it is null what it will do it will go inside it will go inside and it will create another object right it is null it will go inside then it will again check if connection object equals to null yes and then it will go and it create an another objects so there will be two object created so this is the memory issue right so this is the memory issue two memory issues uh, with the caching l1 caching and plus the reordering of instruction so you got it both the issues now let's see what is the fix the fix is very simple using volatile keyword for singleton object now if you see that what fix i have done same solution nothing changed all i have done is put the volatile keyword in front of db connection object now how this fix the issue volatile so you need to understand the volatile two properties volatile has two properties let's say first property and second property the first property is it read and write from memory it read and write from memory it doesn't so if this connection object is now my volatile now if this connection object is volatile it will not be dumped into the cache it will it will directly put into the memory itself right and now let's say if thread t2 if it is reading hey connection object equals to equals to null if it is trying to read it it will not read it from cache 
it will directly read it from memory right so it will say that okay so it will d directly dump connection object into the memory so it will have the data and it will not read the cache it will directly read from the memory so this is one property that the volatile objects are always read and write from memory not from cache so this solve one of the problem what about the issue one reordering that is also solved by volatile is so volatile is let's say you have certain instruction instruction one instruction two instruction three let's say certain volatile object uh, instruction then instruction let's say five instruction six instruction seven let's say you have this so what volatile property is that cpu can do reordering here it can do reordering here it can do reordering here but it can't do reorder like this so instruction one instruction two instruction five this is your volatile and this is your instruction three so it can't do reorder like this so all the instruction which are before the volatile they can be reordered but they has to be completed before the volatile only all the instructions which are after the volatile right they can still be reordered but they have they can only be processed after the volatile right and one more thing is whenever the volatile object or volatile instruction is going to be run all the previous all the previous write instruction would be dumped into the memory that's another property okay so you got it what is this uh, reordering so it volatile brings certain kind of reordering right so what is this thing first you can do reorder here you can do reorder here but you can't just put uh, instruction from below the volatile to up here and from up to below volatile that is not possible second thing is whenever the volatile instruction is to be executed all the instruction write instruction which is previously in the cache might be they will be pushed into the memory so now how it will resolve our issue so here it will see that uh, this part so this is the part right so now let's say i have declared it volatile now let's say i have declared the connection object as volatile now what will happen so volatile is this this is our my volatile object so all the instructions previous to this one they only can be reordered but they can't they have to be like only they can be reordered they can't make volatile above and all that is one thing so first allocate the memory and then initialize the variable or first initialize the variable that allocate the memory so generally you can't uh, allocate the memory later so there would not be re reordering possible here but you got it right since this is the volatile uh, object reordering can only happen at top of this one not with the volatile this one and now when this will going to be run first it will dump this into the memory because it is let's say initialize the variable into the pointer so if so if certain write data is there into the cache it will make sure that all the write operation before this volatile operation all are dumped to the memory so now you make uh, now you see that with this volatile i bring certain kind of reordering in the instruction so that is known as have before have before have before right so have before means bringing certain kind of reordering on the instructions right restricting the cpu to follow certain kind of order right i hope this is uh, issue you got it but now another follow up questions comes after this is right hey in the double locking system we are using synchronize which is little bit slow can we write a singleton pattern without even synchronize yes we can do there are two approaches for it i'll cover in the next video so see you guys then and please uh, cover it up this is very very important and if any doubt please feel free to ping me 
विल डिस्कस मोर थैंक यू बाय